Now that you're able to connect microphones and instruments to your Scala, we're going to show you how to record them using FL Studio. In this tutorial, I'm joined by the fantastic Grace George, who's going to be performing a section of one of her tracks for us to record. We're going to record Grace's performance in one take, capturing vocals and electroacoustic guitar. We'll be using the Scarlett Studio CM25 microphone to capture the vocals, and we'll be plugging Grace's electroacoustic guitar directly into the Scarlett to capture that as well. In this tutorial, we're using the Scarlett 2i2, but these steps will work with whatever Scarlett you have because we're just using the first two inputs. And you don't have to use the exact combination of microphones and instruments that we're using in this tutorial. You can use the information in the previous video to connect the microphones or instruments that you want to record. Using an XLR cable, connect the microphone to input one of the Scarlett and then turn on phantom power to ensure that this condenser microphone gets the power required to work. Next, connect the electroacoustic guitar to input two of the Scarlett. Then set this input to instrument mode as we demonstrated in the previous video. For the Scarlett Solo and 2i2, this can be done by pressing the button on the front panel so that inst lights up. And for the 4i4, 8i6, 18i8 and 18i20, open Focusrite control, go to inputs and switch input two from line to inst mode. Now play through your performance and adjust the gain dials to set the recording levels. Ensure that the gain halos are lighting up green, not yellow or red, as we explained in the previous video. If you're using a Scarlett Solo or a 2i2, then ensure that direct monitoring is turned on by pressing the direct monitor button once. If you're using a 4i4, 8i6, 18i8 or 18i20, then this will already be set up by default. Turn up the volume for your headphones until you can hear the microphones and instruments that you have plugged in. If you have speakers connected to your Scarlett, please use the monitor dial to turn down your speakers while recording in order to avoid feedback. On the Scarlett Solo, the monitor dial controls the speakers and the headphones, and we still want to use the headphones, so you'll need to turn off your speakers to record. Earlier, we showed you how to set your Scarlett as the audio device in FL. This tells FL Studio that the Scarlett is the device that we want to use for audio input and output. Go to Options and Audio Settings. On a PC, please select Focusrite USB ASIO under ASIO Devices. On a Mac, select your Scarlett under Devices. In the top bar, select Song Mode, and we can now set up our audio routing. First, right-click on Track 1 in this playlist view and select Rename Color Icon. I'm going to rename this track Vocals. Then repeat this for Track 2 and name this Guitar. Now we need to set up the mixer channels. Click on Master and ensure that Output 1 and 2 is selected in this drop-down menu. Now, for each input, for example, a microphone or guitar that we've plugged into the Scarlett, we want one channel to record through and one channel to mix through in this mixer. Let's start at Insert 1, right-click and select Rename Color Icon. I'm going to rename this Vokes Record. This is the mixer channel that we'll be recording the vocals through. So come to the Input drop-down menu and select Input 1 because we plug the microphone into Input 1 on the Scarlett. Now repeat this for Insert 2. Right-click and rename this channel Guitar Record. Then come up here and select Input 2 from the input drop-down menu because we plugged the guitar into input two of the Scarlett. To make sure that we don't get any echo or distracting delay when recording, follow this green line and click on the arrow above this circle dial so that the green line disappears.
make sure that on both of these tracks, the arm disc recording button just here is on, which is indicated by the button being red. As I said earlier, we need to set two channels per input, one to record through and one to mix through. We've set up the recording channels, now let's set up the mixing channels. Right click on channel three and rename this Vox Mix. Then select channel four and rename this Guitar Mix. This is where we'll be able to control the volumes, add effects like reverb, EQ, and more once we've recorded. And to be clear, you don't need to select any inputs for these tracks just yet. We'll do that once we've recorded. You're now ready to record. If you'd like a count in, then click on the three, two, one button here in the top bar. Press the record button in the top bar and then select play to start recording. You can hit the space bar to stop recording once you've finished. Hey. Just look at what you could have had as I'm walking away. Here comes the realization that you, you made a mistake And when you see me, if you don't know what to do Just remember, baby I'm better than you Press spacebar to stop recording and you'll see your recording just here. Press the record button again to come out of record mode. We now need to send these audio recordings through the mixing channels that we set up so that we can control the volumes, apply effects like reverb and more. To do that, double click on the vocal recording and select track three here, which is the vocal mix channel that we set up earlier. Then exit this window and double click on the guitar recording. Select channel four because this is the guitar mix channel that we set up earlier. Hit spacebar to listen back to your recording. There we go, you can now record microphones and instruments into FL Studio using your Scala. I'm now gonna show you how to do a basic mix of your recording. Press the stop button to return to the beginning of the timeline. You can control the volume of each of these recordings by clicking and dragging these volume faders on the vocal mix channel and the guitar mix channel. To reset any of the controls to their default setting, like the volume fader, for example, hold down the Alt or Option key and click on the control like so. You can also add effects to the recordings that you've just captured. I'm gonna show you how to put some reverb on the vocals. Click on the vocals mix track and come to where you see slot one. Click here and hover over the select option to see the effects that are available in FL Studio. Select Fruity Reverb 2. You can now see the reverb plugin that you have loaded onto this track. You can select presets up here, like Small Studio, for example. Your presets may look different to mine depending on which version of FL you're using. Then the only control that you need to use in here is the wet fader. This allows you to control how much reverb is being applied to the vocals. Having the fader all the way down means that you're hearing no reverb and bringing the fader up will apply more reverb to your vocals and you can adjust this to your liking. You can then close the reverb plugin by clicking this cross in the corner. If you want to open the plugin again to make adjustments, then you can click on the plugin just here. You can also experiment with adding more effects from these menus, like delay, EQ, and more. You can now progress on from this video, and we'd love to know whether you're up and running with your new Scala. If you are, that's great, but if you still require some assistance, then we can direct you towards our support team.